I was shot down flying a combat mission over North Vietnam on the 31st of August, 1967. A surface air missile took the tail off my airplane. I ejected and landed in the middle of a small North Vietnamese village. I managed to get out a little radio that we carried and talked to the aircraft overhead. And when they answered me, they said, you know, we cannot come and get you. And that started for me what would turn out to be a little longer than five and a half years in prison in North Vietnam. It was lots and lots and lots of time uh, interspersed with moments of pure terror. We were interrogated occasionally, beaten occasionally, uh, tortured on very rare occasion. All of it was done with the attendant uh, shouting and hollering and punching and jabbing and kicking and until they'd have me just crunched up into a ball on the floor feeling like all my joints were coming apart. I begged them to kill me. They wouldn't kill me. They just hurt me. Um, and, and I knew I was going to go crazy. The pain was just incredible. Well, I think good teamwork had a lot to do with our, the way we survived that situation. We were all involved in it to some extent or another. Uh, our primary means of communication was uh, to tap on the walls. And we would tap with a code, and we'd go very fast with that. Uh, all of us exercised the leadership. I think the North Vietnamese were very frustrated by our uh, unanimity. They tried to keep us all isolated and divide and conquer. That's what they were looking for. We had a mission statement too, by the way. It was return with honor. And uh, we all knew it. And we all, every day, were trying to do that. The policy was amongst us that we were all going home together. Nobody was going home early. Nobody was going to be left behind. We were coming home together. One day they dressed us in uh, civilian clothes and loaded us on a bus and drove us out to Gilam, the airport in Hanoi. And there sat a United States Air Force airplane. I think that's when I really believed we're going home this time. And then we went through a small receiving line and were escorted out to the airplane. At which point we didn't need an airplane to fly. 